Sure. Why, don't, why don't I officially get things started? Sure. So first of all, um, everybody I believe knows me, I'm Toby Loftus and I host the online karaoke parties every couple of weeks. And um, I first want to acknowledge Ayana for being vulnerable, for asking a, a question thank you. about singing. And thank you for asking the question. I think being vulnerable and asking for help is actually a very courageous and um, not just courageous, but it, it's actually paradoxically a, a, a show of strength to ask for help. And I was, I was absolutely delighted to see how quickly people started responding into the thread. Um, we have so many wonderful people in our circle. And then uh, Laura, who I have never met, she's a friend of Karen Chow and Kieran, um, I can saying, hey, I would offer this clinic. And so I think that's just wonderful. Um, Laura has been singing on stage for two, three decades. She's decades. Yeah. <laughs> She's been teaching voice uh, for at least 17 years, uh, not just singing, but for the theater. And she also specializes in uh, performance anxiety and stage fright. So I, I was delighted that she offered. And so I offered to the host. And so we have my friend Angie just connected in. She's in uh, Idaho. Um, we have musicians, we have singers, we have non-singers. Um, and Laura said that she would begin, she would be happy to give a clinic on relaxation of the jaw and the throat and on uh, breath control, which will help us all with our singing and our speaking. I think um, it probably would be best if we all go, go on mute so that there's no background noise. I am going to record this video for the benefit of the people who can't join us because uh, there are several people who are interested. So if you have a question, uh, please either use the chat message or maybe wave your hand and I will, I will uh, try to be kind, but interrupt Laura and say, hey, I think we have a question from so-and-so. Does that, does that work for you, Laura? Yeah, uh, tell me how I get back to the chat. Okay, in the upper right corner, there's a little uh, participant. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yes, okay. There, there, there. So I can see the chat too. Yes, okay. And so, we all look like the Brady Bunch right now, which is awesome. Yes, yes, we could start uh, playing, the, playing the theme song. So I think Laura's gonna uh, talk and instruct for roughly a half an hour. If she wants to go longer, she may. And there will also be a, a, available for Q&A afterwards, although I think it sounds like you would welcome questions while sure. you're talking to. Yeah, if you have a question about something I've brought up, you don't quite understand it, you can unmute and be like, yo, or just chat. Okay. Um, oh, Karen, hi. Uh, well, I love my Karen and my Karen. I know I'm going to love all the rest of you, too. Um, <clears throat> so I'm Laura. I love to teach and I love, like I was telling Toby, Toby earlier, every day I say to my husband, okay, I'm going to go change lives now. And then I go to work <laughs> and that's what I feel like I really do. And, and so an opportunity like this was really exciting for me. Like, oh, I can change multiple lives at once rather than just one at a time. Yay me. Okay. Because, you know, it's all about me. Uh, so. We are all where we're at vocally. We can't change it right in this minute and we're just gonna own where we are, right? And if we make mistakes, that's fine. I love mistakes, uh, cause then I know what to fix, okay? So stick it up in here, okay? Uh, or if you're a fantastic singer, fantastic. What we're going to be doing at the beginning is getting your machine working. And I like to use the word machine because it takes your ego out of it. And you start thinking about your body as this thing that produces sound. Right. And we want to be able to produce sound as easily and naturally and as healthily as possible. So that's going to be our focus for the first part. Okay, and that involves a lot of breath support and a lot of relaxing this out, believe it or not. So <clears throat> some of you may already know this stuff, but I'm going to pretend you're all dummies and we're starting from square one. How about that? Okay, yay me. All right, I'm going to stand up. If you guys can and have room, I would encourage the standing as well. Because 
because we're going to have to be using some stuff here. I can't see myself. So we're going to have to be using some stuff here. Can you guys see me? Thumbs up because I can't hear any of you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. First, we're going to stretch. We're going to stretch for the ceiling. And then we're going to stretch out our rib cages. Oh, because we're going to be using them. Oh my God. And doesn't that just feel good? After all of the drama, yes, we're just rolling and stretching. Oh, we love that. Thank you. Now, we're also going to stretch out our jaw. Jaw tension is something that most people don't pay attention to if they haven't had training. And it totally gets in your way. Because if this is tight, it will translate down here. And we want to loosen that up. So we're loosening our jaw and our tongue. Okay, so we're going to do this. And you're going to stick your tongue out towards your chin. Oh, that's great, Rebecca. Jeez, you can, can you actually touch your chin? Oh, my God. You should join the circus. All right. So, anyway. Now, this is all relaxing out. Yeah. And we're going to make a sound from the depths of our belly, where we're just going to do this. Uh, can you do that for me? Uh, yes. Now, what I mean from, by that is when we breathe, when you take your breath, I call it breathing down. Because if I say breathe in, lots of people's shoulders and boobies raise, and we don't want that. Okay, so we're going to breathe down into our bellies. Yes, it's kind of like a yoga breath where your, your diaphragm just expands a little. So when we breathe, this kind of just falls forward a little like Santa Claus. Yeah. And then we're going to laugh like this. Ha. Huh. Yeah, it's a little kick. So when you do that kick, that initiates the breath and the sound together. This means friend in sign language, or is it this? Anyway, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you understand. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so we're breathing down, and this just falls forward. And then we go, hey, we do a little kick. Great, 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 great. Now, the second part we're going to do is from our um, cheekbones to our collarbone, we are going to go completely dead. Okay? So all of the muscles are going to go, y'all, I love the shoulder shake. Thank you, Trisha. Oh, that was fantastic. Yes, Karen, shake. All right. So from our cheekbones to our collarbone, we're going dead. I call it the intelligent face because you look really pretty and smart when you do it. So it's like this. I'll just come closer. See how pretty and smart? Yes. So this is dead and you're going to kick from your tummy and go, oh. Even stick your tongue out just a little bit. Ugh. Thank you. Now, I want an example of one person doing this. Ayana, can you unmute and do this for me? Uh, uh, there we go. Now, less air. Do you hear the wispiness of the air? You can slow down your air and make it move slower, and it feels like a warm, slow creep of air rather than a breeze. Try it for me. There you go, lady. Now, everybody can take that direction where it's not super fast, but it feels like, I'm gonna sit so I know you can see my face because I can't see where I am in this. Um, everyone should still stay standing if they can. So you wanna feel like the note starts in your little belly, in your belly button, and you do that little kick 
your tummy starts coming back towards your spine as you expend your air. So it kind of feels like you're squeezing yourself like an accordion. And so if you're doing that lovely sound, oh, we lost Ayana. Where'd she go? Where's my pretty Ayana? She's there. Okay. <laughs> okay. I lost her. She has a really great photo. Um, so now I'm going to pick Rebecca to unmute because I need to hear y'all. There you go. I grew up in the South. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> okay. We're going to go. Uh, and it's slow, warm creep of air. Try that for me. Uh, and the movement of your tummy is the thing that feels like it's in charge. That's what we want. Uh, Even though everything consciously right here is loose, the sound still happens. So oh, the vocal folds are, you know, crazy. But <laughs> they're here and they move together like this to make sound. And if they're loose and open, they can do that. But if we're trying too hard from here, they kind of tighten up a little bit and start going, oh, and you're kind of choking yourself out. And also your tongue is a big part of that. If you're, oh, there's a kitty. Uh, <laughs> if you're feeling um, fatigue in your throat, it might be that the root of your tongue, your root of the tongue is connected to the top of the voice box. If the root of the tongue wants to go up and back and go, ah, and choke you out, it doesn't move as freely as it could if it's just kind of dropped and open. So I want everyone to just touch right here, really lightly, right here, and say, uh, what was that? Okay. Uh, yeah. So UH. Kieran, unmute so I can hear you go, uh. 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 Get that drop. It drops instead of going up and back. That's going to kill a lot of the fatigue because then the tension's gone and the fight is gone and your throat's open. It kind of feels like when you're trying to drink down water, like you're desperate for water. Boy, do you open that gullet, glug, 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 same feeling. Okay, so we're gonna do a slide. It's all ladies. Oh, except for Toby, sorry. Uh, and Adam. Oh, there's Adam. Oh, where? I don't see, I don't see an Adam. I don't see. <laughs> oh, Trisha, that's okay if your mobility's limited. That's fine. Like a zombie or dying person voice. That's great. Okay. <laughs> uh, I understand if you're, Trisha, I understand if your jaw can't go that open, but it can be loose, right? Like jaw muscles and tongue muscles loose. That's all. Good for you. Okay. So I don't see everybody, apparently. There's another uh, gentleman. You have three by three on your screen. It doesn't, it's not four by four. <sighs> how, how, how many, how many pictures do you I'm see? A, I'm a 52 year old woman. I don't know how to push buttons. <laughs> um, I really you don't. Know. It's really down to the bottom right corner where there's the three dots. Yes. And choose change layout. I just did. And is there a oh, there, there we go. tiled? Now it's lots of Brady Bunch. There you, there you go. go. I'm okay. such an old woman. I'm so sorry. No, you've never used Google Meet before. Like, my husband just pushes all the buttons and turns the knobs for me, and I'm just lazy now. We have to go live in a cave now. Anyway, hi, everybody. So um, we're going to do a slide, and we're going to have to play the octave game. So the ladies are going to do a different octave than the gentlemen. OK? Um, Gentlemen, unmute. Hi, you guys. It's Adam and who? And Alicia. And Alicia, hi. Adam, can you give me this note? Adam. Uh, 
Toby, can you give me this note? Uh, you both have it. Yes, we can mute now. So you guys are going to be down here. Oh, oh, I can't see down there. Oh, and the ladies are going to be. Oh, yes. And when you're sliding, I want you to have the visualization of this just being a wide open tunnel that sound is coming through and you don't have to help it. Like if you feel your tongue start raising and going back to help, you need to tell that thing to just go home. You just pat it on its little head and say, oh, honey, go home. You're not helping. Okay, so it's nice and gentle and loose and it just kind of travels up because your tummy is the thing that's in control and that's how we project and control. So we're doing, oh, everybody try it, go. Great. Now, oh, why are you sticking your tongue out? Now I've lost everybody's name. Cheyenne, why are you sticking your tongue out? Talk to me. She doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> I'm a very nice lady. Okay. Uh, tell her, Karen. All right. Karen's one of my like best girlfriends, so she'll tell you. I'm all right. Okay. <laughs> so, Toby, I would like to hear you sing this. Oh, but don't. Uh, Throat's nice and open. Nothing's in the way. Yeah. I had to keep my tongue from wanting to creep back in my yes. mouth. Yes. Thank you for saying that. It, it, it was trying to creep back. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, stay yeah. And guess what? If you can consciously relax your way through that, your whole singing life's going to change today. Isn't that awesome? And Trisha, I want to speak to you specifically. So on this, for speaking purposes, what I'm talking about is that tummy action. So if you want to project, you have to be really steady in that tummy. And it just kind of feels like it's settled lower in your body. So instead of being like up here and going, I don't know what's going on, you can say, I don't know what's going on. You see what I'm saying? It's supported and lifted, and that's called projection rather than yelling. If it feels like yelling, it's probably pretty centered here. But if you relax that out and come from that lower center in your body, and this is for everybody, if you come from a very low center in your body, specifically your belly button, and do that breath and that kick, that can do all the heavy lifting for you. And it'll really fix a lot of throat problems. Yeah, for speaking or singing, All right? So we're gonna do more slides. We just did this one. And new people joined us, yes, hello? It's my friend. Annalise. Hi. Annalise, what a pretty name, hi Alan. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we've been doing some throat relaxation. We stretched out our jaw and our tongue. And we got way down into our bellies and did something like this. Huh, 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 huh. Kick with your belly. Okay. Try that for me. Hit me. Uh, 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 uh. We're coming from there. Okay. We're coming from there, lady. <laughs> I'm feeling like a beast. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's okay. I'm trying to get you at a low center in your body. Okay. So you have to mute. Everybody's muted because otherwise it's a cacophony. And I already have tinnitus, so there you go. All right, so we did this one. Oh, now we're gonna do this one. Oh, everybody go. Great, great. I'm going to call on Alicia, as of as in Alicia and Adam, to unmute. And try that slide for me so I can just hear you. It's a slide, right? Oh. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't right pitches, but I don't know. Because yeah. what I heard was an open throat. I didn't yeah. hear you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you never know what I'm listening for. I don't yeah, expect yeah. it to be perfect. Right? <laughs> okay. 
so mute for me. Who haven't I heard yet by themselves? Raise your hand and who's willing? I'm looking at you, Cheyenne. Okay, <laughs> Annalise, sorry. Oh, Cheyenne, you and I need to talk about shyness. It'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> If you could slide, oh, and all this is loose. Can you try it for me? Can you hear it? She's gone. I'm scared away. Where'd she go? She volunteered, right? I don't want to traumatize anybody. You scared her off, Laura. Oh, my God. I hate it when I'm such a terrible bitch. All right, Karen, it's up to you now, lady. Oh, nice and loose and open. Oh. Also, opening your mouth is super important. Oh, even though things are loose, open your mouth. Let's go. Oh. See how it just started floating out of her face? When all she did was drop her chin, just like this much. The sound has to get past your lips and teeth. And also when your mouth is open like that, it's harder to pinch hair. Like open your mouth really wide and try to pinch. You can't. You can't. Pretty cool. So. I'm going to suggest. that we all sing a song together. You're all, you're all muted, it's fine. But when you're singing, I want you thinking about keeping this loose. Even though we're doing English words, we're gonna keep this loose and open. And we're gonna have that low center where we're lifting notes from our little belly and it feels natural. It actually feels as easy as talking. Um, for the, the pitch I'm gonna pick, I think. All right, we're going to sing happy birthday to you to Karen. Because her just, hers just had a little birthday. <laughs> Did you have one too? Ayana? No, oh, you're just saying yay in sign language. Uh, Toby's is tomorrow. <gasps> no, uh. Well, sorry. Not, not tomorrow. Or it's close. Sunday. Sorry, Karen. I was superseded by Toby. <laughs> I mean, you know, he, he arranged all this. All right. We're going to sing happy birthday to Toby. So I picked, actually, let's pick C. Happy birthday to you. And the guys are here. That should work for everybody. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to have anybody on mute right now because I like you guys, and I know that would be terrifying for you. So take your breath and start singing happy birthday to Toby. Let's go. I'm sorry it was a silent happy birthday, Toby, but did you see everyone's mouths? Yes, he, he likes it. He likes I can do it silent. Happy birthday. <laughs> you know who I learned that from? Fonzie on happy days. Look it up. He dated a deaf woman for a while and he learned how to watch that episode too. <laughs> Happy born day to you. Oh, it's great. Okay. <laughs> I remember that from 1970, whatever the hell it was. Okay. Now, I would love to hear from you guys either on chat or from unmuting your mics and tell me how that might have been gone differently for you thinking about these other things, okay? 
if it felt different at all. I'll wait. If only, if only I had a cigarette. You can't smoke anymore. It's terrible. If you want, I can call on people and give each person a try, or they can just type. You commented, felt looser. Could have gone a little deeper for breath support. Okay, these are all really good awareness observations. What we're doing right now is increasing your awareness of what your body is up to while you're singing. And there's three questions usually to answer. If something isn't going well for you, whether public speaking or singing, it's one of these three things. What's my support doing? Did I breathe down? Is that in control? Is my throat tight? Is it open? What the hell is my mouth up to? Is it open? Is it closed? Right? Those are the three questions. If you analyze those, you can usually fix what's up, what's going wrong. So if you take nothing else away from today, than this, we have kind of a three point checklist. One is breathe down to your belly and do that little kick and lift through the wide open tunnel. Yes. Uh, so breathe down to your belly. Number two is kick and lift. Number three is open your mouth. Three point checklist. Who wants to say the three point checklist back to me? Who has it? Tell me. Unmute. Tell me. Karen, come on. Calling you out, lady. Unmute. Uh, okay. No, so no, no. Karen. Oh, Karen. I was getting confused. I don't know if you're calling on me. <laughs> Here. Oh my God, have I been paying attention enough? Opening the mouth. Breathe down is number one. Breathe down into your tummy and the kind of kick. And then just the tongue, just not letting it kind of go back, having it loose. I think. Number one, breathe down. Number two, yeah. kick and lift through an open tunnel. Number three, open your mouth. Open your mouth, that's the bit I missed yeah. out. <laughs> and the reason I have people say this back to me is so that I know that they can say it to themselves when I'm not around, right? When you have to verbalize the words, it's kind of more cemented in your face, in your head. Oh, Trisha, honey, you sleepy? Yes, me too. <laughs> I laid down for a nap today. And I was down for like an hour and 15 minutes. I'm like, oh, that's a depression nap. Anyway, here I am singing. It's much better now. So I would like to open things up right now for some questions. So why don't you wave your hand if you have a question and then I'll call on you and you can unmute. Does anybody have any questions or comments? That's great. Ayana, you were the one who initiated this whole thing with your question. Maybe you. Do you have any comments? Or well, um, I speak for a living as a librarian, which sounds weird. Mm -hmm. um, as <laughs> librarians are supposed to shush people, but I teach, so mm -hmm. I need my voice. And I've one of the things I'm always thinking about is is you know I I've noticed as like this past year, definitely, that I'm like sounding more hoarse, that I'm drinking more when I teach, that mm -hmm. um, I'm sounding more like I spend too much time in a bar drinking whiskey and singing and smoking at a, at a you know, mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm sounding like a blues singer. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, I'm not a blues singer. Yeah. So um, with this, um relaxed face thing that i did did you gain any positive things from that of like relaxing this more and then the sound still happens a little bit yeah i mean i can i mean i can tell when this is tight versus loose mm. it reminds me of when i played clarinet mm. because you can control yeah. the tone yeah you don't want too much pressure, you'll end up having an aneurysm if you're playing clarinet and it's all like, yeah. 
<laughs> with vocalizing, what's actually happening is it's a brain function. Like the idea to vocalize starts in your brain and then it comes down your vagus nerves to your folds to tell them to move and do stuff. It, and then your voice is a muscle, but the muscle is more about letting it move and having the strength to move throughout your range. It's not effort from here. And that can translate to your speaking voice as well, to where you kind of relax your jaw. Are you a clencher? I am. I am a clencher too. My name's Laura, I'm a clencher. Hi, uh, that's probably your problem. Do you catch yourself during the day clenching and let go? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Your voice can come from a deeper place in your body. You don't have to turn into James Earl Jones, right? <laughs> but it's that lower center thing I talk about. And I have people visualize that there's like a jar full of rocks and we're putting sand in it and we want that sand to settle to the bottom. And so I want your focus about your voice to be that sand that settles to the bottom and just kind of lifts rather than pushes or yells, right? It's just, oh, now I'm coming from the tummy and it's all good. And this is a little bit more relaxed open. Also, you have to stay super hydrated and salt is your best friend. If your throat's irritated, salt water gargles because it'll reduce the swelling. And then um, there's speakers and singers sprays, which I would highly re recommend that you get. Um, I personally prefer one called Vocal Ease, that's Vocal Easy E, and it's a glycerin based spray. You can get singers and vocalist sprays at like New Seasons and stuff, but they taste like licorice ass. They're terrible. Don't get them because you won't want to do it. Vocally, it actually tastes kind of nice, but like just innocuous. It doesn't bother you. And it's glycerin. Your body knows what to do with it. It's not going to be toxic or anything. And you open your mouth really wide and stick your tongue out and go and spray it back there. And it's a lubricant. You can also do um, a teaspoon of olive oil and make sure you swallow it way back here to lubricate. Because if you speak all day, trust me, I know, I speak this thing all day, you have to start treating your voice like the little treasure that needs to be lubricated and, and babied a little bit. Does that make sense? Yeah. Did I answer your questions? Yes, you did. Thank you. I'm so glad. Thank you for starting the conversation. <laughs> Anybody else have a question? Or Alicia had a question. Alicia, why don't you go yes, ahead? Yes, ma'am. And, and kind of along the same lines of talking all day, um, I'm a trainer and I have to talk all day and sometimes um, have to change my inflection um, to calm people down. And that makes me need to talk a little bit higher and yes. I have to strain a bit to do that. And by the end of the day, I yes. Really hurts. You have the same problem as every elementary school teacher in the world. <laughs> uh, I'm happy to work with you on this alone, but I will interest I will introduce some concepts to you about this. Mm -hmm. Um so when we sing, we have things called our chest voice and our head voice. Mm -hmm. Right? There are reason there's a reason they're called these. The lower notes are in your chest voice and they vibrate right here in your chest. So give me a ah, uh, and you can uh, uh, As your voice goes up, the resonance is gonna move up your body. And where we run into trouble is if we don't know how to let go and let our voice move up above our top teeth, we start running into this kind of trouble because you're trying to shove it down to this place that doesn't want those sounds anymore. There's no room for them. Right. So when you want to talk up here, you're going to actually be above your top teeth. So let's be a cartoon mouse for a second and go, wow. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. 
if you allow the resonance to kind of move up higher in your face for that more comforting mm -hmm. voice, mm -hmm. the fight's gone mm -hmm. and it won't get as tired. But I would also recommend saltwater gargles at the beginning and the end of the day. Okay. Because that will tire out that part of your voice. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And if you want more info on it, I'm happy to do a private session with you where we learn how to move sounds up. Mm -hmm. Because it's like head voices. <laughs> it's actually ringing up here in my nose. <laughs> it's nowhere near here. It's actually past here. It starts okay. in the morning and then comes up here to roost. Okay. And it feels like the easiest ringy dingy thing in my whole life. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. I, I do need to work on that. <laughs> So yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for your question. Anybody else? What's BRB? Um, um, be right back. But uh, Rebecca oh. had a question about okay. transitioning. Whenever. Rebecca. What's it, what's it? My question for. Yeah. You can speak, Rebecca. What are tips you have for transitioning? Yeah, that darn ass passaggio. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I are. I started addressing it just now. Mm -hmm with that idea of allowing your voice to move past here to where it really feels like things are just happening up here and this doesn't have any control anymore. So like if we're doing a slide that goes past that, yeah, I'll go here. Uh, boy, did I have to relax through that? Do you see what my face did and how slow I took that? It's the end of a long day. <laughs> like, my so tired. But there was no click because I consciously relaxed through it and opened my mouth so that things wouldn't fail. And the other piece of that is the support. But, like, you see, I'm pointing this way. And what I mean by this is this low note feels like it's in my mouth. And then as I'm going up, it feels like it comes up this way and kind of just falls forward. So it doesn't feel like it's going back. It doesn't feel like we're swallowing it down. It's ah, and see how big my mouth has to open to do that. Yeah. Basically what I'm doing is I'm getting my tongue out of the way. Okay. And Are everything's just opening up yeah. more this way. Yeah. Yeah. And just like your tummy's in control of it. And it's not like, Arr. it's just sort of lifting it and you're getting out of your own way. And the sound feels like it's shifting up this way. Are you willing to try that slide for me? Sure. Oh. Now start in your lower register though, you big cheater. Oh. <laughs> oh. There was no break in there. Yeah. It's this way. This is the key to everything. The day my mask opened, girl. I call that freedom day. Oh my God. Right. It feels really easy and you can go further. If you like, we'll do an octave. Oh, Cause it sounds like you got some skill. Right. Oh, oh. I think you started in a really low head voice. You don't have to start in your chest. So <laughs> I call it out, baby. So well, give me a when you say cheating, call, you're call doing the head cheating. voice. You're doing oh, 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 oh. it's pretty low head voice, but it's head voice. What I want is the switching of registers. So we're gonna do hey, just give me a hey right there. Hey. Like you're talking. Hey. Hi. Hi. There it is. That's your lower register. Yeah, I yeah. felt that here. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh. No, don't sing it. Start by talking. Start in that lower register. I don't care if it cracks. Let's not care if it cracks. We don't give a shh. Right. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm going to have you do it one more time because you started in your head voice again. You'll see the difference. Wow. Uh, 
Ah. Wow. Wow. Like we're in a musical theater piece and we're just talking to each other. Wow. Wow. We're starting there. Ah. Uh, uh, that feels different. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. yeah. I don't know yeah. how to visualize it very efficiently, but that's all right. We could yeah. spend hours. But <laughs> that's a great way to transition your registers is to think of it as your tummy's in control and you're kind of going this way and your throat's just open. Then it doesn't get in the way. I, I call it getting out of my own way. You're on, you're retired. <laughs> you're on vacation or whatever, right? Did I answer your question? Yes, thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> Anybody else? Wait, 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 wait. Any other questions? Anybody? Wave. Word. An Annalise. Go ahead and unmute, unmute Annalise and uh, share your question or if you prefer typing. Uh, no, I wonder if you've ever tried. Um, there's a Chinese remedy for throat and voice called Pangdahai. What's that? It's, um, it's actually a little gelatinous. Um, it's a little seed, but when you put it in hot water, it becomes gelatinous and then it just kind of makes everything slippery. And oh, write that down and put it yeah. on the chat right now. That was yeah. amazing. Put it into the chat <laughs> and if you have a URL, put that in. Okay. That sounds amazing. It works really, it works really well. Yeah. I believe you. Any other questions? Any comments? Tr Trisha, you're a non-singer, but you wanted to work on your voice. Maybe you'd like to s say yeah, uh, share something about talking. Uh, oh, I've been practicing talking to myself <laughs> from the abdominal region. <clears throat> and I can compare it to how I normally talk, which is like this. And so normally it's a much more of a facial thing and it's much more from up here. But if I focus and concentrate more from the abdominal region, I'm trying to, uh, you know, encourage myself to do that. And my question is, do you find that in a conversational setting, when one uses this technique, the pace of the conversation is slower? No. No. Okay. And, and like this thing you're doing now, I would, it's deeper, I can tell. I would encourage for your professional setting of like being in court or trying to talk through a GD mask. Like we're all trying to talk, talk right. through our mask right now. Right. We're just yelling too much. Right. Um, but for a conversation, you can back off a little. Mm -hmm. You can still have it centered um, in your diaphragm. Mm -hmm. You can back it off a little where it feels a little bit more natural. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. I think especially over the last year we've all been up here in our shoulders and everything's been tight and maybe we're using this more because that's just where we're living we're living in our throat chakras we feel like we can't say everything we need to say and we're just tense and our solar plexus chakras are all just knotted up so if we start loosening up and letting that sand settle down a little bit regardless of volume I think some natural relaxation will come. Mm -hmm. And you may feel like you're talking slower right now just because you're concentrating on something new. Yeah, I'm trying to be more deliberate. And, and when I say conversational, I meant as opposed to singing. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm just sitting here now, if you were all in a meeting with me talking about a, a work-related matter, could I talk like this where I'm, you know, trying to use more of my body resourcefully um, and be able to sustain that as opposed to talking like this, which is how I normally would do it. I would talk a little faster and it would all be right here and it would last for about 10 minutes before I'd have to drink water. I'm going to tell you what to do. I, I want you to see the difference between those right now and think of it as being more collarbone-y. Okay rather than super deep belly because super deep belly is really for projecting and like Times when you're in court and you may, ladies and gentlemen of the jury or your honor or whatever, right? Um, when we're in our collar, when I call that the college professor, it's like you want to project a little, you want to be understood, but you don't want to be theatrical, <laughs> okay. right? 
So yes, if you focus on your collarbone, it might be a more comfortable place for you all day. Yeah, because the warning sign for me is, and I can feel it now, I guess if I start feeling it here, just to really start thinking a little bit downward, a little bit more resourceful, because you know I, it's hard for me to get through even an hour long conversation um, I think the key word for you right now is relax. Yeah. Okay. Relax. Sand settling down into your body. Mm -hmm. We're not shoving it down. We're letting it settle. Mm -hmm. okay. that, that tends to be a good visualization for people. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a good practice for this is just reading um, articles out loud. I used to tell people read the newspaper out loud, but that's old fashioned. That's how old I am. No. Um, but reading out loud to yourself, you can practice some of this stuff and see what feels comfortable and feel, and see what feels right and see what feels wrong. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Karen. Karen, yes, go ahead. I just want to say thank you, Laura, for something earlier today. I asked the question, uh, what do I do when I go out for hikes like today? I come back, either it's allergies and I get so stuffed up in my nose. My nose is so blocked up and if I have to sing that same day, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. And that neti pot that you told me to use, I had a neti pot, I tried it today. Oh my goodness, it completely cleared out. This completely cleared it out, the blockage. I was amazed by that. And I know when I was doing those Auntie Kiran videos, I used to have that, I was doing those daily, I used to have a real problem with that. And I was having to use those Vicks um, inhaler things up my nose, and and this oh, is really dry. Stay away with that. This this has been amazing. So I just yeah. wanted to thank you. So does everyone know what a neti pot is? Do a thumbs up if you know. Or yeah, okay, yay! Salt water is your friend. Um, right now, every day I'm doing a saline, right? Um, just because I have to, but. Salt water for that, neti pot to rinse it out. Salt water gargles if your throat feels a little raw. It'll, it's so healing and it just, the neti pot stuff just gets it out of your body. So why wouldn't you? I'm glad that it worked for you, yeah, you. Laura, earlier today, when we were talking, you, talk, uh, you were giving me instructions to use the Darth Vader to uh, clear the, oh. the throat. Maybe you could share that with everybody. Sure. We were talking earlier today and <clears throat> Um, I don't know. I choked on my own spit or something because that's a new thing that happens in your 50s, FYI. You choke on your own spit and your eyes water for no reason. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> so in order to kill my tickle so I could keep talking to him, we had to do the Darth Vader. So you know how you do your breath when you try to warm up your hands? It's like this. Right? So we did this. And then you breathe through your nose. And then you go and breathe through your nose. And <clears throat> that should kill the tickle. No. I'm so dehydrated. Give me some. Does anybody else have any questions or comments? Yes, Angie, uh, you're on mute. Um. So I, I don't really sing um, other than in the shower and, uh, <laughs> but I do play violin and viola and I, a lot of times my, even right now, I can feel that my jaw is really tense. I don't know if I clench, I not, like I'm not aware of like finding clench, but when I'm playing, especially mm -hmm. when it's slow, I do like a half clench and I don't know how to describe other than that. I used to, when I first started playing, when something was hard, <laughs> um, you know, back in like seventh and eighth grade, I would open my mouth wider and wider and wider, the harder it got for me. And so I would be sitting there playing like a doofus. Like, <laughs> but my teacher, like we worked to, to stop doing that, but I think I still do it just with my lips closed and not as wide. So like my teeth just kind of like, especially in the back, there's a, just a space. <laughs> Oh. So it's like half clench. I don't. <laughs> well, it's, it's another expression of tension. Yeah. Yeah. The tension open. Right. <clears throat> and it's, it's a way of feeling something. Mm -hmm. Right. 
if you want to cure that, I might suggest mm -hmm. you um, curl your toes instead. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind. Because <laughs> then there's your body's doing something to make you feel grounded. That's what that is. Sure, like, yeah. It's it's a harder part and so you feel like you're starting to float away anxiety wise and your body's trying to do something that brings you back down into it yeah and I find that's what happens when it's slower it's just a slow piece it's not necessarily hard it's just like holding on to a long note and playing it as pretty as possible slower is hard though slower is harder often it is i do slow well though i <laughs> but i'm fine I find getting myself grounded in my feet, whether it's curling my toes or just feeling my feet really flat on the floor. Sure. Help get me out of that place where I feel like I need to temp tense something. Okay, that makes sense. I Do you have any other exercises for relaxing a jaw though? Yeah, I have a tension relaxing exercise that's on the Verba vocal channel. It's not me. It's this beautiful woman named Anna. And uh, she has this whole video on tension release. It's about a 15 minute exercise thing. Uh, that's so great. <clears throat> Maybe I'll chat that. Uh, and I it's fun. The afterwards and I can share it to the group too. And she's, and she's gorgeous. Uh, God love her. Uh, I'm just going to write down Verba vocal because there's, she has a whole channel of absolutely wonderful vocal exercises and I didn't have to do any of them uh, or record myself. She's like so young and pretty and I'm like, yeah, you do it. Uh, verbal vocal tension <laughs> release exercises. And she'll do things like this. Right? Like you just let your jaw hang and you do this and it's, it's, it's really goofy, but it actually works. Really Change my exercise. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, thank uh, you. So she has a lot of those. Thank you. Great question. Anybody else? Anybody? Any other questions or comments? How did I get so pretty and talented? <laughs> Nobody? And modest? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess uh, then we can wrap this up. I want, please, everybody, give Laura a lots of love and appreciation for doing this for us. Uh, I'm going to paste her URL in the chat. So if you would like to follow up with her, uh, you may. Um, thank you again, and, Anna, for starting the conversation. And I'm, um, uh, I'm available uh, if you want to just email me or, or PM me on Facebook with questions. Um, just to kind of like, as you discover things as you go along, and maybe we'll just do another clinic and check in with each other. And I'm also thinking of doing a um, stage fright clinic too, just for stage fright, which might be helpful for lots of people. And then somebody has a sinus infection. Who was that? Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Are you on antibiotics for it? How long have you had it? Um. I did take antibiotics twice and then I finally went and saw an ENT mm -hmm. and we're just waiting for my insurance to go through so she can go in and, and clean it out. And so. scope it because it's probably just something really tucked away that she has to clean out. Yeah, because it was from a wisdom tooth removal. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. So it's just been infected for yeah. over a month. Oh, it's, and oh, it's so frustrating because it hurts. It does. <laughs> you're just drowning in mucus and okay. So I'm glad you're getting treatment. I just wanted to make sure you had a solution. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Well, thank you guys. This is so much fun. Thank you so much. I've recorded this. So that if you want to revisit, you can, and I will be able to sharing it for the people who couldn't join us tonight. Thank you so much, Laura. That was wonderful. Really, really helpful and very appreciative. Yay. Thank thank you. All of you. I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Thank Bye you guys. very much. Thanks, Laura. Right. Take care, everyone. Bye.